The Atlanta Hawks number one pick Zachary Richeche obviously has a ton of talent and potential, but what have we learned about his game so far in the summer league? In this video, we're going to do a deep dive on the film to figure out what exactly Richeche's current strengths and weaknesses are. Now, the first place where we have to start with Richeche's game is going to be his versatility. Physically, Zachary stands at 6'9 with a 6'10 wingspan, and that size is enough to make him a pretty good catch and finisher in the deep paint. By either rolling towards the basket, catching lobs behind the defense, or snagging offensive boards. Now, this may seem like a pretty basic skill set, but this by itself will already make him a great piece to have alongside Trey Young, who's easily one of the best pick and roll passers across the NBA. Young. Off a lob. Now with the ball, Risha also has the ability to attack off the dribble, and in open space, Zachary does have pretty good ball control, allowing him to lead fast breaks, or turn the corner off of ball screens in the half court to attack the basket. Overall, I wouldn't say Richeche right now has the most dynamic handle, but there is for sure a solid foundation for him to build on in the years to come. And then on top of that size and ball skills, Richeche also has the ability to step out and knock down shots on the perimeter. Mechanically, Zachary has cleaned four, while also having very efficient footwork off the catch, by always having his feet set and being ready to fire as soon as he receives the ball. Throughout the summer league, Richeche has taken and made some really difficult shots. Watch him here catch and take this escape dribble to his left, to then settle his feet and rise up for an on-balance jumper. Now he's working off his pin down screen, and notice how comfortable he is blasting off his peck and stepping into a rhythm left-right shot. Now Zachary's versatile skill set can be a double-edged sword because while he does have the ability to score and play make from a variety of spots, I do think his game in a way is spread thin. Offensively, I would say Ristachet's most NBA ready skill set is his spot up shooting. Last year for the JBL Borg, Ristachet shot over 41% all his catch and shoot threes. Now in the handful of summer league games that I watched, Zachary did miss a couple of wide open looks, which does happen to pretty much every shooter, but I also thought Ristachet's shot selection was pretty poor. There were many plays in isolation where he rushed up these quick, difficult, and contested pull ups, and statistically last Last year, Ristache was never an elite off the dribble shooter, so for the most part, I think he should be avoiding these type of shots in his rookie year. Now, because the defense is going to have to respect Ristache as a spot up shooter, he's going to commonly get some aggressive closeouts off the catch. And I think Ristache needs to get better at making quick decisions with the ball. Notice how he catches here with this defender scrambling out. And instead of getting into a quick shot or drive, Ristache briefly pauses with the ball, giving both his man and the off-ball defense time to get set, which leads to him taking another tough contested shot. And when Zachary does elect to put the ball down, he also needs to get better at reading the entire court. Watch him here catch the ball on the wing, and notice how there's literally no help defense on the right side of the floor, but Zachary still drives into traffic towards the middle. Before a 19 year old prospect, Ristache is going to have plenty of time to gain experience and develop the field to make the right decision with the ball. Another area of improvement I see for Ristache is going to be his strength. While Zachary does have pretty good ball control, he does have a hard time dealing with contact off the bounce, which leads to him over dribbling and spamming too many moves, leading to more turnovers. Now as this game develops, I'm not sure how much responsibility Ristache is going to have as a lead ball handler, but over the next few years, I think Zachary's decision making is going to have to get sharper. But regardless, Zachary is still a pretty dynamic scoring threat, and the defense is going to have to respect him as both a shooter and slasher, which in return is going to open up his passing. And I think Ristache has the potential to be a really dynamic playmaker. First, his height and length allows him to see over the defense, opening up simple passing reads like this, where his teammate flashes in front of the basket, and Zachary can easily deliver this time over the defense. 
When looking at some of the best passers across the NBA, many of them are big 6'7 guards or towering centers. And again, that size adds a whole nother dimension to their passing, where they can use that elevated view to peer over the defense and punish aggressive rotations. Now, I'm not saying that Zachary has the passing chops of Luka or Jokic, but I do think he has some physical attributes and skill that will translate over to the NBA. Another really important skill in Richichet's passing game is going to be his ability to deliver one-hand passes which off the bounce makes him a constant scoring and passing threat. You'll see him here turn the corner off the screen and watch him take one dribble below the three and toss this underhand lob that's right on the money. I also love this pass here where Ristache is attacking across the lane and notice how he's going to pick up and use his eyes to move the defense out of the paint, opening up another lob pass at the rim. Now when transitioning over and looking at Richichet's defense, we have to come back to his height and length. I think Richichet's size is going to immediately make him a pretty impactful defender off the ball, where his vertical presence can offer an extra layer of resistance around the basket and take away passing reads. And along with his physical tools, Richichet also has really good mobility, being able to scramble all around the floor and take away advantages for the offense to attack. Now, because of his age and inexperience, Zachary at times does make the wrong reads off the ball, commonly being late on rotations or losing track of his man and giving up backdoor cuts. But I see this quickly getting cleaned up with some NBA coaching and development. And I think Richiche easily has the bill and motor to be an elite weak side and gap defender. And that's also going to be the case with his defense on the ball, where Richichet has the foot speed and length to give ball handlers a bunch of problems, where first he has the quickness to keep the ball in front, and the length to take away any clear scoring or passing option. And even if he does get beat on the perimeter, Zachary still has the size to alter shots around the basket. Richichet's mobility also makes him really good at navigating through screens, which is a skill that pretty much every elite perimeter defender has. And throughout the playoffs, we saw how important it was for on-ball defenders to fight through screens and stay attached to their man, in order to not give up any mismatches defensively. And in the handful of games that I've watched, I've seen Richichet do this perfectly multiple times. You'll see the offense here initially pushing back off the dribble, but watch how Richichet is able to press up and get himself back attached to the ball where he then has the size to alter any kind of pull up or float. I also like this play here where Richichet is going to again eat up the space between him and the ball and even after getting bumped back from the screen he still has the speed to scramble down and get a piece of the shot. So overall I think Zachary Richichet has a ton of talent and potential as a prospect. His outside shooting, size, and mobility will make him a great off-ball weapon for the Atlanta Hawks. Plus, I also think he has the build to be a really effective defender both on and off the ball. Offensively, Zachary's decision-making and on-ball creation will be a work in progress, and the development of Richichet's game is going to be a vital part to the Atlanta Hawks' success going forward. If you enjoyed this breakdown, please like and subscribe, and let me know in the comments who the kids should break down next. The kids here.